Hey everybody, it's Paul from Screenwriting Scribe. Today we're gonna to talk about 10 YouTube channels uh, that I wish I would have known of when I began my screenwriting journey. Now these 10 are just 10 that I really like. Actually, I subscribe to a lot more than just these 10, but these 10 I think have had some influence on who I've been as a screenwriter. And so I just wanna use this as a, just a, begin a conversation about 10 screenwriting channels that you could take a look at. And then some of them are big, some of them are small. Uh, and they're no in particular order. The first one is not as more important than the 10th one. I'm just going to give you 10. Actually, I'm going to give you a bonus one today as well, too. So let's dive into it and take a look at 10 YouTube channels that will help you as a screener. At least they helped me. Now, the first channel I'd like to talk to you today is about Word Dancer. Uh, yes, you can write a screenplay without film school. She was one of the first YouTube channels I came across when I first began to think about screenwriting. I've actually did buy her course. I can do a review of her course later on if you'd like. Uh, but I've really enjoyed her videos. You can see she hasn't posted a lot recently. Um, if we can take a look at the videos that she's done recently. Last one she's done uh, was about uh, three years ago. Uh, now the course that I think is the, the most helpful one, and I'll go back to home so I can show you that one. Uh, the one I found the most helpful is this one here, How to Write a screen, Screenplay, Script Writing for Beginners. Um, it's got almost a half a million views. Uh, it's really well done. It's 19 minutes. Uh, everything she, she sort of teaches uh, is really easy. I found it a really good guide at how to begin a screenplay. And she's really down to earth. And I really enjoyed her style of explaining stuff and teaching stuff. So like I said, uh, take a look at uh, Work Dancer. You can also take a look at her class as well too. Um, their classes are, her classes are pretty affordable. I learned a lot from them. Now the next channel I want to show you is the Script Fellow screenwriting intelligence. Uh, if we take a look here, uh, Dominic is a WGA screenwriter and creator of the Script Fella program. If you want to learn uh, to vastly improve your chances of landing an agent and paid writing assignments, watch his free class. And you can take a look at that. Uh, what I really enjoy about, about him, he's just started posting recently. He actually had one at the time of this video, a video he just put out, nine ways to write cinematic lighting into your screenplays. Um, and I mean, he's got some really good stuff. I mean, 11 screenwriting techniques to hook a reader on page one and how not, or how to lose a screenwriting competition on page one. So, I mean, he's got some really good videos. He doesn't have a ton of them out. Uh, let's see, I think he's had uh, about 31, but I like his type of videos. It's a little different uh, type of screenwriting. It's not just the basics, but it gives you a sort of perspective, especially from somebody who's in the industry, um, who's a WGA member. Um, so yeah, uh, you can take a look at this. He's got the screenwriting business, how much money do screenwriters really earn? I mean, he's got some really good uh, basic videos. So give a look at Screenfellow. You can take a look at some of his videos. Um, and, and I haven't taken any of his courses, so I can't tell you how good they are. Uh, but definitely give him a, a follow and take a look at some of his other videos. You won't be disappointed. The next one I'd like to bring to your attention is Local Script Man. Uh, I just find his stuff really funny, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, let me show you some of the videos that I really uh, enjoy. And a lot of people have too. I mean, he, uh, he's he got a, a lot of subscribers. And we'll take a look at those for, for a second. But write like a king who's on a budget. Um, on mm, Your screenplay in like five minutes. Actual writing advice. I love that. Uh, five more essential story time rules once I once again made up. Um, five essential story time rules just made up. Uh, I like his, his, his humor and stuff like that. And his thumbnails are really funny. Um, the illusion of bad pacing while your writing feels off. I mean, he really writes to how you're feeling and stuff like that. Um, some of the emotions that you might be experiencing while you're, while you're a writer. And he does it from a very funny perspective. I always laugh at a lot of his videos. He makes you think about things in new and creative ways, and that's what I really appreciate about him. He's got about 170K uh, subscribers. Definitely, if you have a chance to take a look at, um, definitely the uh, Samuel L. Jackson uh, thumbnail post one, definitely take a look at that video. I really enjoyed that. I thought it was uh, really well done. The next channel I'd like to look at today is Script Doctor. This one I actually found not too long ago. I found it during the strike. Uh, I really liked his analysis of the strike and he was really good at talking about what the writer's looking for and why it was a big deal. So I really appreciated Script Doctor during that. You can see he doesn't have a ton, well he's got, he's got a lot more than me, but I mean he's a relatively still small channel, less than 
k for subscribers he's got 108 videos uh, if we look a little bit more at a description uh, it's home of the weekly screenplay review show scripts on saturday the best place for thoughtful discussion of film television entertainment industry never forget it all starts with the script uh, and i can't agree with i cannot agree more with that it always starts with the script and we always keep forgetting about that so that's why i really like his particular channel um and so uh, he's got a lot of nice videos. Um, he also knows a lot of people within the industry, so he, he has some good interviews and stuff like that as well too. So uh, he's very knowledgeable about the field, so that's why I would give him uh, a follow. So the next channel is actually a pretty big channel. It's Fomento, you might have heard this before. He actually takes this stuff from a writer's perspective. I did buy Fomento's book. Um, I have enjoyed it. I think I got through two thirds of it. I don't think I finished it yet. But he does a good job of looking at everything from a screenwriting perspective. He actually has some, uh, if I remember correctly, he does have some experience as a screenwriter. And so a lot of his stuff makes sense. Uh, this is, he does a lot of film criticism. And I think his film criticism comes from a good place. He comes from the, the, the point of being a writer when he does this. So that's why I really appreciate uh, his videos and stuff like that. He's got a ton of them. He's got 216 videos. Um, talking about District 9, how to cheat world building, uh, Fury, how to make one of the greatest blank films, uh, film perfect, perfection, Rebel Moon, how everybody loves Rebel Moon, right? How a director became his own worst enemy, Anatomy of a Failure. And that's one of his uh, cliche stuff that he sort of talks about, Anatomy of a Failure, but he goes through and just, instead of saying, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks, he talks about why this doesn't work, what they could have done differently. Uh, and that's one of the things I really appreciate it. He does it with a lot of humor. Again, I think that works well. Um, so. Give Filmento a chance. Uh, if you haven't given, if you haven't uh, subscribed to him yet, take a look at him. I, I really like his content. The next one I want to talk about today is Big Red Stripe. When I first was getting into screenwriting, uh, making my own YouTube channel, uh, I've always looked up to him. Um, he's been a, a great sort of role model for me, uh, just because I look at his videos. And when I started, he was actually probably just at about a thousand subscribers, so he wasn't. Uh, he was he wasn't huge. Um, I mean, he's over 5K right now. Um, he um, I know he is a professor in screenwriting at a not in I want to say it's on the East Coast. He's not on the West Coast. Um, so this is where he sort of brings his expert expertise, and he always has good videos each and every week. Let's take a look at just the, the ones he's had out recently. Uh, three screenwriting requirements that had that have nothing to do with writing. Uh, write your screenplay faster. Here are four ways to do so. So he's taken the knowledge that he knows from um, what he does for a living and translated it very well into videos. And the videos are all really well done. Uh, I've always been really happy with his content. Uh, I've talked to him a couple times. Uh, he seems like a really nice guy and stuff like that. So that's why I like looking at his stuff um, and I would give him a follow. Now, this next one, Film Threat, seems a little odd that I'd be talking about uh, like a film critic. Now, Filmento, uh, who I've talked about previously, is a film critic, but he does it from a category of, uh, as, a, as a writer, uh, looking at the different movies and stuff and taking it from a writing perspective why these things don't work. Uh, film Threat is a little different. I mean, so the reason why I like this particular channel is one, that Al, Alan did an interview with me. I thought that was really nice. I've always had good interactions with uh, Chris as well as Alan. They've been really uh, nice to work with and talk to and stuff like that. I remember when they were at just uh, 50K subs. Um, now they're over 100,000 uh, subs. Uh, but I, I like them from the perspective that they also delve into the industry as well too. It's just not film criticism, you know, just for cr film criticism sakes. Not, don't get me wrong. They do a lot of, of, of talking about films and, and, and stuff like that. But they also look into the industry more. I know they've inter interviewed several screenwriters. They've got one the when the strike was going on, they made sure they talk about the strike um, and just sort of hearing uh, what they want for movies and stuff like that. I, I, I really enjoy that. And uh, I think they do a good job of covering Hollywood um, and they don't do it from a perspective. They do it from a more independent perspective. Um, I also like it that they look at independent films. Um, and so a lot of the times when we start as screenwriters, we're going to start probably producing independent films. So I like there's a there's a. A uh, group of people who are reviewing those films and getting films out to folks, uh, recommending films so that we, so, so that when um, people are looking for independent films to watch, they know what ones they can watch, 
and which ones they can look to. So I, I really enjoy Film Threat from that style of, uh, as screenwriters, some of us are going to want to produce films, and the first types of films we're going to probably produce are independent films. And so this is one of those channels that will help raise uh, people's awareness of those type of films and hopefully get people to see that independent films are just as good to watch as Hollywood films. Now, the next one is probably the biggest channel that I subscribe to in terms of film slash screenwriting. Uh, it's Film Riot. Now, the reason why I like Film Riot is a lot of it is more about looking at how to make independent films. And so if you're a screenwriter and also a filmmaker and want to create some films as well, too, I think this is a great resource. Uh, when I was working on my audio play or my audio drama that is on my channel, I used a lot of resources from Film Riot. Um, a lot of the resources were very inexpensive. Um, they were easy to use. Um, and I like that they sort of break everything down and help you take that vision from the page and put it onto the screen. So that's why I really like Film Riot. So if you're wanting to create audio dramas or you want to create the films and, and not just be the writer, uh, but take on that extra job of actually creating the film as well too, I think Film Riot is a great resource. And here's one of the bonus channels I wish I had known about when I first started my channel, Screenwriting Scribe. Hey, you know, there's not a lot of channels that actually talk about the, the nuts and bolts of screenwriting in terms of screenwriting software. I mean, some people, I've had seen some videos uh, all over the place and I have to, I had to look at, you know, sort of far and wide as to look at different resources for how to use fade in or final draft. You know, I, I bounced around on a lot of different software to sort of figure out what I eventually wanted. So I was like, well, not a lot of people are talking about this. They'll talk about screenwriting, but then they won't talk. There's like, they'll do maybe a, a one-off video about the software and stuff like that. And I found uh, over time that more people wanted to know some more uh, details about Final Draft or they wanted more details about Fade In or, hey, what about Soul Create or something like that. And so I said, hey, why don't I do a really niche down topic of screenwriting software? <laughs> I mean, so I feel really blessed that I have uh, 1.38K subscribers. Who knew uh, that people would want to know information about that? I appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you for coming along to the ride. Uh, I keep hoping to do this for quite a while, and I'm glad that the, I can provide a resource for people to hopefully get their questions answered about different softwares. So I can't wait to uh, make the next 231 videos uh, at the time of, the, of this particular recording. So here's a bonus channel, a little bit of a self-plug. Now the next channel I'd like to talk about is Nathan Graham Davis. Uh, he's a real interesting guy. He's a Hollywood screenwriter who lives in Massachusetts. Um, he's been relatively newer on the scene. I think he's one of my newer uh, subscriptions in the last, uh, right after COVID, probably 2022, I think is when he started making a lot more videos, 2023. Uh, he, he has a lot of good uh, stuff. He's got Entry Point. He's got a full sort of class and introduction screenwriting course that's for free that you can, that you can uh, look at that. He also talks about his journey about becoming a screenwriter and stuff. So I really found those really cool, very interesting. Um, lately, uh, I, I love the video he just put out uh, at the time of this video, which is to get out, which is get out the script versus the movie. Um, so he's got some wonderful stuff as well too. The next channel I'd like to talk on is Tyler Motory. Now this is probably a controversial point because I know a lot of people in the space either really like Tyler or they really don't like Tyler. As I pointed out in a previous video, he recently went back to his name. His channel was, I think, top development and stuff. He was trying to create a screenwriting course um, for screenwriters, and some of the stuff didn't really make a lot of sense. Uh, and so it ended up falling apart, and he went back to his name. Uh, now, the one thing I like about Tyler's stuff, uh, one of my favorite ones that I fell in love with this channel is this one here. I wrote a screenplay in 48 hours. Um, and he has a million views with uh, with this. And so you can see he gets a lot of views. I mean, he, he talks, he's really good at explaining stuff. Um, now he hasn't had anything published yet as far as I'm aware of, but just because he doesn't have anything published doesn't mean he's a good teacher. He's really good at talking about each of these different subject items. I mean, each of these ones, he does a really good job of talking like, why should, fight, why should you study Fight Club? I think he does a great job of analyzing it uh, he was, I think he started pretty early in the space. And so, like I said, when I first looked into screenwriting, I fell, fell upon his channel and started looking at it more and more and more. Um, he does have a, a particular course that he pushes on people, which I know some people aren't really excited about. Recently, he had been doing more writer room live stream um, stuff, and he had been doing a lot more of that recently. Um, 
after a uh, he was doing it actually daily for quite a while. I think he stopped. I think his last one is streamed about a month ago. But he does this every now and again. He'll sort of you can come in, ask him questions, and he'll look at your screenplay and give you good feedback and stuff like that. So, um, and I, I know people who've used this system before have done well with this system. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. I haven't used this particular system. So there you go. Those are 10, actually 11, uh, YouTube channels I wish I would have known at when I first began my screenwriting journey. Uh, are they the only 10 channels? Are they the best 10, 10 to 11 channels? No. <laughs> So uh, give me your, your ones that you love to follow. I'm just giving you 10 that would have helped, been helpful in my journey to begin with. And I hope these 10 are helpful for you as well too. I hope they help you get to writing more. And one of the other things I wish I would have known when, back when I began my screenwriting journey is what software to use. I just made a video about that not that long ago. I'm gonna link that in the, in the end cards. So take a look at that. It'll tell you 10 different softwares that you can use to begin your screenwriting journey. Till the next video.